Welcome everybody to the second half of the Monday Night Smash Doubleheader. Today we got Snake, one of the top seeds of the last two years. I believe the third and the fourth seeds in 2019 and 2020. Going up against yet another strong fighter last year. Just narrowly got edged out in a previous division, last year's Division F, I believe. But now, now they're rivals in Division E. We, Snake, of course, the defending champion of Division Division E. Um, sure, I, I might actually change those coming up next season. That's a good idea. Why call him Division E? That's very uneventful. Right now, of course, Snake's Snake's got Banjo in a good spot. The problem with Shadow Moses Island is you have to knock him upward high enough to actually get the knockout. With Hazard's off the walls, what just happened? What did he get hit by? I didn't see he got knocked in the air. I didn't really see Banjo throw anything up into the air. That's very odd. That should not have happened. There are no hazards. Because the walls aren't going to break. That's one of the hazards. I have hazards off to make sure hazards aren't as big of a deal. But right now... Right now... Oh, there we go. I was going to say... Right now, Banjo is just firmly in control. But 39% is what we got here. Right now, he's actually tied it back up. So it's not even the, the end of the world for Snake. This is going to be a very tough matchup. Pretty much on a mental goal for that dash. Doesn't quite get it. Throwing the grenade back at the wall. Bounces off and hits himself. We have two grenades actually going on here. Because they both have grenades. I forgot which is which. But obviously the cartoon one. Oh boy. Going for that dash. But the wall took the buffer hit. And was able to stop his momentum. And yet there's so many hits that should be knockouts. But we're waiting for it. Oh, is that going to be it? No, it's not. Just barely misses the blast zone. So many times. We don't know who's going to be it. Who's going to be taking this knockout? 165 to 177. It doesn't get any closer than this. Misses the C4. And it's Snake who takes it. Throwing that grenade. That delayed grenade. What a shot. We have our game two here, here at Banjo's home field of Spiral Mountain. Of course, uh, it doesn't actually spin because it's a hazard. Uh, we don't like hazards here. Getting hit with a grenade early. Snake just blew himself up. See, that's the thing. All of these computers are level nine. They have a, and if you remember how these eyes work, that platform's leaving. If you remember how how they set up AIs in this game, when they were building this game, they got help from pro players. So they definitely have a lot of tech that they use. But right now, things... Oof, things aren't looking good for Snake. Snake slowed his momentum. Those egg shots will be racking up. Oh, another C4. Another. There's a lot of explosives going on between these two. Let me tell you. Perry able to dodge. Going for the dash. And that's going to do Snake in. But he's got he's got time. He he's he got Banjo to 87%. That's all that matters. But the problem is with Banjo, there could be a vast chance for a snowball. And that's not a snow day Snake wants to deal with. He wants to like he just wants to melt that before it becomes a problem. Let it just pass over, please. But there's so many egg shots, he can't even do anything. Look at this spam! That grenade's gonna blow up. He catches the grenade. He's got to throw that. This is not looking good, especially with that the cliffside platform can easily... Oh! But I was going to say, that cliffside platform can... Ooh, did he set up a... Oh! Got through the rocket. He got pushed through the rocket. But now what? Because right now, Banjo has done a great job with the snowball. And that's what you see there with the 2-0 victory in Game 2. So we're going to go to Game 3. So many Game 3s this week in our primetime games. I like that. I like close games where it's like you don't really know. But the thing is, Snake with the advantage because uh, he has home field advantage this set since he's coming off a better season than Banjo. Right now, things, uh, things are going to be really close. Especially because if you remember, you have to knock them out upward. That is the key here. Come on, Snake. 
I, oh, I say snake because it's like right now 74. This is not a good showing. I mean, I know it's against Banjo, but you were you were you're a former Final Four finalist from a few years back. Like, I mean, you're you're not you already got one win, so you're gonna be one and zero. But at the same time, you just gotta be careful. Banjo here, already racking up 125. Like, Shadow Moses Island is gonna be known for those fights that just end at like high, high percentage. They both go get knocked out. Snake's grenade from the grave actually taking out Banjo. Who would have thought? Anyway, we get our last stock fight. No matter, like, whoever wins this is gonna walk away the victor. That C4, remember, that C4 is up on the top right. So, if you, you never know, that could be a surprise. Uh, he did, uh, successfully avoids do uh, and dodges the grenade from Banjo. That C4, he's got to be careful. He doesn't actually ignite it. Went for the dash and missed. There's a lot of parries right now, but that beak strike, the upper beak strike. Oh, the C4 blew up. He has no more C4. Right now, Snake is losing momentum. He's already triple digits. He's got to be careful. Ooh. Somehow dodging it. Ah. And the this is insane. I cannot keep track of what's going on. Everybody's flying around. They're just being ragdolled around. It's like a bunch of dolls. And that one does the trick. It's the overstrike from Banjo that picks up his first win of the season. I'll be at a 2-1 win. It's a great start. But that will wrap up our week one Mushroom Cup prime time games. Of course, tomorrow we will have the recap show if you want to stick around for that. Uh, subscribe if you have not, if you don't want to miss any of Smash Circuit 2021 as we try to crown the best AI yet again.